Hi. <laughs> Welcome to Caddy Jack's. We're in Jackie's bedroom where we belong. Right? This is Caitlin. This is Jackie. Welcome back. Yes. Welcome. What Welcome. if somebody was a new viewer today? Well, if, you're, <laughs> if you're a new viewer today, bless you. Yes, and we recommend go back to the beginning. But, but you don't have to. Right. What is today? May something. May, May 16th. 16th. I don't even know what episode is this. Forty like I know I have a lot of episodes. Kate. I know like what, a, what we're what, shameless. We're wasting our life. No, just kidding. <laughs> um, I have mohair in my. Look it's, at this. it's not a it's not a true knitting podcast until you have mohair in your lipstick. Exactly. So, Caitlin is visiting. Yes, Madison. Because I don't live here anymore. No, this little bed is. She's been sleeping in this little bed. Yeah, though. this is Jackie's bed. For mm -hmm. those of you who don't know, mm -hmm. we're in the bedroom. And James was here too. Mm -hmm. And not with all of us, just me, in the bed. Although he came in while I was getting dressed, that was. I did. I did. I did. She um, ran interference this morning. He was. We were laying in bed, and Jackie was next door and with Sally in Sally's bed, and I said to James. This is like as close to a dream come true as possible. You are laying in Jackie's bed. And I was like, so close, but yet so far. Anyways, <laughs> James, James is a dream come true. But I told, I think this is, I think we need to <laughs> this topic very quickly because I could derail us very quickly. But everything surprise, was, surprise. I That's got up and I've been practicing hosting. Oh, this is wait. Sorry, if we if we had the ability to put little like labels on the sections of this video, this is the let's applaud Jackie. <laughs> I'm Jackie. Made... You are such an amazing hostess, an emerging hostess. I feel like I'm an you're emerging. The, you're the you're the you're the cat the caterpillar that has now turned into a butterfly and is coming out of the chrysalis. Is that I don't think I'm, I've gone that far yet. Well, I was trying to be nice. I think and I'm in like, the, like, I'm melting and I, I mean, I liked, she cleaned her room. I did. I, she I, basically I, removed all signs of and life. And they filled it immediately. Yeah. Every surface was filled. But every I, floor space. I love how she has this beautiful hanging rack off with hooks door. off her door. And I put my two towels on it. And she's like, look at that. <laughs> I created a perfect space. For my guest towels. I know. I was proud of myself. She really was. She had a moment like, look at that. Uh -huh. And then I, you made coffee. And I made you cookies yesterday when you needed a snack. You did. She, she put down her knitting and made me cookies. I washed the sheets. So thank you. <laughs> I think okay. that's a bare minimum one, but Yeah, whatever. and I think you... Yeah, yeah, it's all good. And, you we, do and I too. found a film for James to watch in the afternoon right. when it was raining. Right. Well, it was a good movie. What was it called? The death of Stalin. It was very funny. I was a total non-believer hater. Really, you liked it? Yeah, I thought it was really oh, good. Good. Yeah. Okay, because I'm reading Master and Margarita right now, and I am not. But James might read it, and uh, we just thought we'd get some background. And then I watched Stalin documentaries last night, and I did not. She went out. Jackie, this didn't was join the me. other way I was a good host. I thought because all these people back wanted, to you. <laughs> all these all these people wanted to see Caitlin. And she needed to have her moment to shine. Not that I would... I just mean, like, she needed to have all the flexibility, no agenda. So that's... that. You was... are so selfless. I mean, it's it's a new <laughs> side of you that I just don't quite know what to do with. But mm -hmm. let's all take a moment of silence to thank Jackie <laughs> for her host skills. <laughs> that's not silent. <laughs> okay. Yes, no. So, um... Yeah, no, you've been, no, it has been, because that, that is hard when you're, we haven't been back to Madison in over a year. Yeah, and it like could have been twitch. a competition, like a tug of war for who gets to spend time I have a lot Taylor. of, we have a lot, we've lived here for 30 years, so we have a lot of connections here, and, you know, the COVID, we're all of our friends have been fully vaccinated, and it was sort of, it was everybody's sort of first time out, um, getting together and the energy was just so lovely to see everyone was just so excited to be social mm -hmm. <laughs> it was pretty perfect so yeah so yeah and um it was been a whirlwind because we got here friday and we're leaving it's sunday and we're leaving today so mm -hmm. we packed a lot in and mm -hmm. how many hours is that 
yeah. 48 hours or so. Yeah. And Jamie and Jamie had to put our dog Cece oh, down right yes. before they got here. So we've right. also been navigating that yeah. sadness of like no dog under the table and those kinds of yeah, things. So it's very hard. So, but Jamie has, I mean, she seemed to rally and she made the most glorious cherry pie last night. And then we got to have cherry pie for first breakfast today. So mm -hmm. when we're done with this podcast, we get second breakfast. Yes. I feel like we should maybe film some of that. Yeah, maybe. Like the, the, the uh, whatever. The kitchen, like the breakfast table. Yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so um, it feels so good to I be know. right here. Look at that. Oh my gosh. All is right in the world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're good. We're yeah. a little warm, but we're no, good. we're not. I'm fine. I'm, I'm warm. Okay. You guys must be like having hot. I'm flash. menopause. Menopause. Something like that. Yeah. Are you? I have a good? fan. Um, like a little hand fan. Yeah, I, I could. I could, I could. You know, if I was a good guest, I could fan you. Let's see that, Caitlin. Hold on. You really are hot. That's crazy. I know. I'm wearing mohair. By I the know. way, I'm wearing my ranunculus. Oh, you've yeah, seen it. You've been there. You've done that. I'm going to show you while she's doing that. This is my most favorite yarn it's um what is it Graf can't even remember the name what's it called Graf graffiti. graffiti um oh my grunge graf grunge oh that's grunge oh that feels good grunge something graffiti right whatever pop grunge pop grunge pop grunge by lobby and why did we get graffiti it's i don't know so beautiful because it has Are these pops in the yarn yeah yeah see those pops of neon and then i stranded it with my favorite mohair of all time julie Asselin's i would like to take i'm Anatolia. interrupting i'm so sorry go ahead you've already interrupted i would like to take this exact combination and make a ready and then Oh, I could wear yeah. it near you. You could. And then sometimes now you I want a ready in it. Doesn't it, wouldn't it be perfect? Oh my god, yes. Yeah. Maybe we should just twin. I still have the one skein you gifted me. Oh, that's right. How many skeins would we need for a ready? Three and I three? think I would need three. You might get away with two. Three and three. Three I mohair like or two mohair? Do you remember it? I don't know. Okay. Like mohair depends on which mohair. Anatolia, I think she's. I think it's a smaller. So good. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Anyway, it's just, and then I was going to add sleeves. That's why Jackie gifted me the extra skein because I, right. I was like, oh, I'm not going to, I need it. But now I live in Tennessee. For those of you who don't know, I live in Knoxville, and this is kind of perfect. Yeah. That feels so good. Are you just going to do that the whole time? Yeah, why not? It's like quiet and, you know. Keeps us keeps the menopause away. Okay, and speaking of gifts, Caitlin's wearing the earrings that she gave me. <laughs> You're like the worst. First of all, let's just talk about the evolution of gifts to Jackie from Caitlin. Okay. Well, wait, let's talk about Melissa Jenkins. Well, first. I'm getting there. Okay. Okay. So these are my Melissa Jenkins earrings. Hi, Melissa. And I did I buy Melissa Jenkins. First, I can't even remember. Yeah, the we went to Madewell one day. Yes, remember? and I bought these, right? Was I that brought the you. Very first I saw earring? her before you had seen her, and I was like, "We have to go see this right. woman. She's doing this amazing pop up." And I, I bought these. So this is my first Melissa Jenkins. Of course, it's yarn, so I was freaking out. Mm -hmm. And, um, and then I don't know. I, but my hair was longer. I just. I, mean, I don't know. I had trouble wearing big earrings. Now mm -hmm. I'm embracing it. I had my first haircut since COVID. Mm -hmm. I just got cut, cut off about four inches. Anyway, and then Jackie wore these all the time. And of course, anytime Jackie wears anything, she looks beyond fabulous. So they looked much... I'm going to say thank you right there. Even though it really wasn't a compliment the way she said it. It wasn't? Was it? I feel like it was part of like You're doing that shut down of, thing. Oh, okay. Thank you, Caitlin. Yeah. Um, that was, I'm pretty sure it was a compliment. I just said that you look fabulous in everything that you put I know, on. But so, it kind of sounds like a slur the way you said it. Do you know what I mean? No, I don't know what you mean at all, but <laughs> okay. okay. I'm so, okay, moving I'm on. so, wait, we could like pause and listen to it again okay. and see, but I, okay. <laughs> okay that was you, a compliment. If you heard like, it as a, sl like a slur. Like it's, it's, this is the way she said it. Everything she wears looks good on her. Well, because that I'm a bitch. jealous bitch. I'm like totally <laughs> jealous. Like I. You know, I love you, and you're supposed to, like, I isn't, like, the pure form of love, like, when you want good things for other people, but you, like, put on your cute little pants, and I'm like, oh, I hate her. 
<laughs> and then she like throws on her, you know, half wrap looking fabulous. I hate her. Okay. Okay, and, that's what I mean. So okay. yes, there is some Okay, deep, so there is some. But like. so anyway, okay, I, back to the Jackie's end. loved them because she looked so fabulous in them. Surprise, surprise. And I was like, "Okay, you can just keep them." And then I saw them. Well, today. wait, wait. She went to Knoxville. She moved away from me. And she was like, this is a token of my love. She left them before me because oh. she moved away. But I forgot that part. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, fine. Take them <laughs> off. Freaking earring. <laughs> okay. Back you were to so <laughs> waiting for that. Anyway, um, fine. I'll I... leave them. But, but, <laughs> no, you and then didn't, borrow, you, didn't you have Melissa why you trim take them? them back? Why don't I borrow them from me? Well, see, that's the thing. Okay. Keep you don't want to go there about borrowing and. Really? Like, Look, I love the way this is starting. All right. I can go, I can go in your closet right now and talk about the things that somehow have made it into your permanent collection that are okay, truly mine. Okay, but here's the difference between Caitlin and I, I think. is when I give Everything her, looks fabulous on no, her. when I give you things, I forget about them. Like, I forget about everything. Like, I forget you, about what books have, I've learned. What have you given me? <laughs> okay, so we're going to not go there. But, but she, on the other hand, remembers. Like, I feel like we're two grandmothers, and we yeah, have, Yeah, we're like, two bitty old bitties. <laughs> I, know. I know. Well, anyways, and we have, like... Yeah, but anyways, Caitlin yeah, remembers. This is our shtick. This Caitlin is... remembers. We're going to say that about And Jackie her. conveniently forgets. forgets. <laughs> That's so That's true. That's totally like, yeah. oh, what? Oh, oh, I said absolutely. that horrible thing to you? How is that possible? Absolutely. I did, yeah. And mm -hmm. what's so interesting, when James... So this James and Caitlin and I spend a lot of time together yeah and there are things that james really appreciates about me and <laughs> that you gang up against me <laughs> like he's got a teammate yeah yeah that's oh that's that's but, not a compliment but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> in my book that is not a compliment at all that's why i'm a welcome guest according to jack <laughs> but sometimes you know what they've never done? Oh boy, here we go. What? They've never ganged up on me. Oh. You really haven't. Good guy. We gotta work on that. <laughs> yeah. I think I'd feel a little bit crushed. Of course you would, because you can dish it out like there's no tomorrow, <laughs> but then it like comes your way and you're like <gasps> But she starts like first thing in the morning. I do, like, I she, just she just, just wakes up like dishing. I, well, I've had nine hours of sleep. I'm I ready know, to go. I know, she's ready to go. There's a lot of dishing to pack like, in. And I, I walked in her room and she's like, look at your mullet. <laughs> and I was like, but of course you looked fabulous in the mullet. I need to look up the term. There's a, people, there, there's a term out there for this new type a of... A new mullet. It is. I mean, I'm going to look it up. But it's kind of like hip and happening and Jackie, of course rolled out of bed looking like that. So this is a I, knitting podcast. <laughs> is it? I think so. It's the, but we did talk, are we done talking oh, about no. these? Oh no, so we're not talking about, done, done talking about. So I feel like, Melissa, I'm going to take credit for this even okay. though it, you um, are an artist in your own right and you need no guidance. Trust me. She's fabulous. And if you have, if you've been living under a rock and you don't know who Melissa Jenkins is, Melissa Jenkins Designs, please go check her out. Every time I am out in the world, you know, mm -hmm. it's masked up. I'm always wearing my Melissa Jenkins earrings every single time somebody says something. So I carry little cards or I get out my Instagram and show. So anyway, but I, so these are this beautiful yarn. And now I feel like she posted something in her Instagram stories recently that's saying, you know, what about if people sent me their scraps of yarn to have earrings made that would sort of match their finished so object fun. which I think is so fabulous so Melissa this is my plug and I'm pretty sure other people would say yes to that so give us the details on how we can make that work because I mean I would love to have I mean I don't know how I feel about matchy matchy but like I would love to pull out some neon for this or or even if you have I a think special it'd be, yarn you or know? it'd be very cool if you could somehow make this bottom part a clip and you could give us accessories of the fringe, and we could just go. Do you like that? There yeah. we go, Caitlin. Oh, there's some supportiveness <laughs> right there. Okay, she's very observant. She yeah, reads my facial expression. I think I'm sitting there saying nothing and just oh, listening. Oh, you say. You, my friend. Okay. 
have are like an absolute um what's the right term pro at thinking you're saying nothing in fact like i'll show her some fabulous thing that i've done i created or whatever and you're like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like and, and in her head it's like can we move on to like, talk about something else me but, yeah right. back to me all right so yes you, the art of nothing it's true she's had she's been giving me some feedback i'm in self-improvement mode and you're so, welcome people <laughs> <laughs> yes so let's practice why don't we pull out your whip and practice yeah because even the whip mm -hmm. yeah she's gonna, like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay so let's practice Okay, you're gonna be so fakey fake though. No, I'm gonna really be genuine. Okay, so but like but, you tell me what you need when I look at your whip and I'm gonna give it to you. <laughs> okay. That could be taken and take out your whip and tell me what you need and I'll give it to you. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's under only. the bed. The whip is under the yeah, bed, right? If only with all okay. of your accessories. Okay. okay. So, in all seriousness, we are in the the lovely. I wouldn't say throws is the right word, but we're in the midst of our Nick collage, fangirl, like Cal horrific mm -hmm. because Amy's who who um, is the goo, the female guru behind Nick Collage is fabulous. She has her her spring cow going. If you know, if you've been watching us, you know we every year. We can't wait for the next cow. So I am knitting, I decided to do an accessory this time, and I am knitting the Dreamweaver pillow. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at it. I was No, you, you were looking at yourself. No, no, I was looking at that. Like I was looking at it on the screen. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. So, um, but can we just talk about texture and color and, I mean, look at this, people. And this so, is the new color. Yeah, so this is the Sedona, which is a new color for her. There, there's some lint. Um, the Sedona. And then uh, this is creme brulee. And this is Petal, the wildflower mm -hmm. yarn Petal. So it is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But this is a new to me experience because this is on Look at colors on here. Right? That would be good as the Entrelux sweater. I know it would. Too. It's very, it's a great neutral. So here, mm -hmm. let's, right? Yeah. Oh, there goes the other half. But anyway. Now it's a sweater. Now it's a sweater. Now it's a vest. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so um, I'm done with the front, and then I'm working on the back, which is just striped, and you can stripe it however you want, and I'm doing... Um... Have you bought a pillow form yet? I think I have one at home. I can just put it in. So uh, you do have to piece it. And then you're going to add tassels to it. But anyway, oh, the tassels will be fun. Yeah, so big fun tassels. So I, my sunroom where I sit and knit all day long. Sorry, James. Your boyfriend's here. Mm -hmm. On a motorcycle. Mm -hmm. um, this will go very nicely. So um, what was I going to say about it, though? We love the... Just, oh, so just the entrelock is, is a new experience for me. I mean, I really don't... You've done something. You did a kid's sweater once, right, with entrelock? No, but I did it oh. before. Anyway, it looks intimidating. It is super fun. Super fun because you only have um, six stitches on and you're working the little section and then you pick up stitches, only six stitches, and then you work that next section. So you work them by one color at a time. Uh Anyway, it's beyond fun. It's such an addictive, addictive, addicting, sure. addicting. Sure, all of the all of that. Um, I know. It's so. Oh, Amy, you're a genius. Mm -hmm. I think I started okay. my Harley sweater yesterday. Speaking of the addictive, and I just sat and knit until one in the morning. Yeah, I can't. So we left her to go do our fun socializing that she didn't feel up to doing, and I came back and she was in. Jackie knits in the most uncomfortable, it makes me so uncomfortable in how she knits or sits or dresses because she's got like 50 pound shoes on that have heels that are wooden. I'm a creature of comfort. And I sit in her chair. And she sits there like, yeah. But you, I mean, you great posture. Oh, look at this. Oh, okay. Look at this. Okay. She's, she's 
teaching me. So oh this is, my goodness. This is the Harley happening. Mm, do you see my face? I'm looking at the item. I'm looking at you. I am. She's modeling how Good to. behavior. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Of course. So, oh my gosh, with the cute pink pants. Yeah, so. And I was, love how this almost looks ruffled. That'd be kind of cute as yeah, the bottom. It's a little yeah. ruffled. So I did. <clears throat> Beautiful. I did a tubular cast on, which maybe made it too loose, but we're oh. going to go with it looks ruffled. Why did you do the tubular? I just always do, because I want, you know, I don't know why, but you can see it's very, like... Yeah. And then I also threw in some... I had some pop chart kit left over from something else. So I'm at the... Um, I'm at the Basically, the size... This is actually the whole sweater. Yeah. The sizes are like 10 inches apart in width mm -hmm. and then you know you're limited because obviously by this so I did the first size and Which I was, you normally would do anyway yeah and I'm trying to do the neutrals this is blowing out a bit but I'm happy with it it's, it's so I can't beautiful. wait the sleeves I think will be even you know show more of them mm -hmm. you know I think I you need more yeah like it has an overall design thing that right yeah so there needs to be more let fabric right let me see but it's really fun. And I can't believe this is the whole sweater, though. Like, this would, you know, here's my crop top. I like just, that? It's not showing the way I would like it to oh, on she, the camera, really? but it's just so beautiful. Well, but what's not showing? There we go, I guess. I mean, the, it's so <clears throat> beautiful. And just see all the little sparkle? Mm -hmm. This is our, this is Daisy Chain is our favorite, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But you've got the petal in there, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, uh. You know, vanilla. I mean, it's so cute. So then yeah. you add the collar and you and you and cast away the sleeves. Yeah. So the collar will be white. I think it's showing perfectly. Okay, true. I and I think it'll just be what I kept imagining it with big gold earrings. And oh like, yeah. Even like you could wear it with white jeans, ripped jeans. You know, I just think. Or your pink pants. I or mean, my that pink looks pants. kind of amazing with the pink that pulls through there. Yeah, the pink pants. Yeah, because look at that little. Because you purposely wanted yeah, this I little. Yeah, put a little. Is this the front? <clears throat> Either way, I haven't decided mm -hmm. yet. So <clears throat> it's beautiful. Um, well done. Thanks, Nick Collage. Super fun. We've been joined, trying to join all her zooms. Um, which is fun. I mean, we, I know we have talked a lot about Nick Collage, but we can't say enough about how amazing it is to participate, to be part of the community. Amy does such a fabulous job, and Amy's Amy's about to give birth to her third baby, mm -hmm. baby boy, and um, I, I loved it. She posted a story where I can't remember which sweater she was wearing, but it it came, it was a crop top because it only went partly on her belly. Mm -hmm. So yeah, no, it's really good. And, yeah. and she's writing a lot about <clears throat> mindfulness and creativity. Mm -hmm. So there's, uh, there's substance, there's con community, and then there's beautiful yarn. And I guess I have to say about knit collage, I do feel like the knit collage projects are different than any other projects. Mm -hmm. A, because of, if you're joining the the cal the tutorials they're really helpful it's like you're knitting with amy mm. it's hilarious yes. like okay amy what do we do next yeah. and then she, there she, she is and she's so delight she's such a warm delightful human mm -hmm. being so those having access to those videos is fun well and the amount of work that goes into create i mean she walks you through every step of the process yeah. via video so you can pause it you can yeah. go back i mean yeah she is committed to making it approachable. Yeah. And then some. And uh, then well the, done. the other piece I just think is interesting is they feel very, um, like, they have it embedded in them that you just let go mm -hmm. and you surrender to the experience of the knit. Yeah. They, because, for instance, this... The size of this garment, I'm not looking at it like a traditional garment, like this, I like my sweaters that are, you know, have mm -hmm. this much depth and X, Y, Z. You just allow the nicolage to happen and you kind of watch it happen. Yeah. You know. It's it, an unfolding it of really creativity. Is. Like you just have to believe. You, there's like it. a suspense. Mm -hmm. sus, because it somehow it is different. Mm -hmm. So you suspend your typical like fingering weight merino yeah. judgments and you just go with the flow well and it's i mean while the designs are great it really is the about the yarns mm -hmm. and it, and her designs showcase her yarns so beautifully in just 
let that part shine through. Yeah. Speaking of shining through, the sun just came yeah. in. Yeah. We're very lucky. There. Well, and it's such a heads, well, hats off to her designers, too, mm -hmm. that, the, you know, I saw um, uh, Knit and Crochet. Yes. Oh. Shay Johnson. Shay Johnson. Yeah. Hi, she, just, she just has a new design collaboration out that they think they released this Weekend, yeah, it's maybe beautiful with her new like boucle yarn. Yeah, I want to knit with that. Yeah, um, Amy, I want to knit with that. Yeah, but Amy's color and her palette, you know, it's just it's very fun. Yeah. So, anyways, anyway, and to those of you that um, used our affiliate link to purchase your kits, we very much appreciate that. Thank mm -hmm. you, thank you, thank you. We hope you will show us, maybe tag us, and what you've. Um, what you've created. We mm -hmm. just love being a part of your knits. So, mm -hmm. but thank you. We really mm -hmm. are appreciative of your using it. Every time we're like, oh, somebody actually used our technology because we are not, mm -hmm. you're more technology based. Oh, I don't it. think yeah. so. You, you put in that link tree. So bravo Ooh. to you. Yeah. yeah and thank, thank you. you everybody. So it's still going on and there are more events. And yeah. of course the big surprise event was, uh, she had Stephen West on yeah. for a, a Zoom so that yeah, was, she really, yeah, it, that was incredible. It's going so, all out. So we will, um, <clears throat> next time we podcast, um, next time we podcast in person, mm -hmm. uh, we will we'll have, have FOs. Yeah, FOs. And, and speaking of podcasting in person, we just also want to just do a quick shout out to thank you to all of our um, Patreon supporters. We, um, for those of you who don't know, we do have a Patreon account. Um, and it started when... Um, we knew that I was moving away and we wouldn't be able to be in Jackie's bedroom. Mm -hmm. And, you know, thank you for everybody who put up with all of our, you know, oh shenanigans gosh, of me phone. being, Kaylin, you know, we want Kaylin on the phone and whatever. Um, we still continue to do some Zoom, but we are so happy to not be doing Zoom. And your Patreon support has made it possible for us to be together. Let Jackie came to visit me um, a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. You've probably seen the episode, and so it was our first time, and we were able to finance that through our Patreon. So we will continue to be traveling as we're able to, and it's safe to do so. Um, so we're going to hopefully bring you a lot more content that way. And, mm -hmm. and we had a lot of new Patreon supporters, so we want to mm -hmm. say thank you mm -hmm. and welcome. Uh, we are going to be working on trying to figure out some fun patron... Um, content like patron only content so anyway that's can be found in our link in our instagram page so thank you thank you thank you mm -hmm. absolutely yeah all right what should i mean there is a beautiful elephant in the room oh okay so <laughs> so <laughs> oh yeah because i hadn't finished this last time right i mean it's been what two weeks i'm gonna take it off mm -hmm. and this is fox thoughts i think it's from Hiroko Payne designed it for the latest and you can see there's something similar here it's the cover yeah color and way. the yarn is from La Bienna May mm -hmm. and it's Helix and Felix and you Helix and Felix yeah because one has a different oh fiber. I know it's yeah. Felix I know. yeah that was a new one so um I'm just gonna oh. let you see the color work a little bit I mean you know oh, it feels so good oh it's so absolutely glorious and stunning and it fits me it does it looks really good on her she can put it on and i'll put it on no you put it on all right i'm gonna just put it on quick yeah but i'm not gonna leave so it on. um our good friend debbie corb hi debbie say hi to debbie. Hi, debbie hi debbie um generously gifted us kits and jackie got to start hers when she had knitting mm -hmm. camp with debbie a couple weeks ago mm -hmm. or a month ago and Jackie, when she came to visit me, was supposed to bring my yarn all skeined up. How come we decided not to have you bring it? Because we knew I was coming to visit you. Yeah. And you had a anyway, car. so I'm going to show you my my stash. Okay. Whoa. I know. I hate that feeling. Okay. Look here at it you. Is. How freaking adorable are you? Okay. So. And I did I say that with malice? No. Uh, um. Anyways. <laughs> So here it is, you know, and I can talk about the mods yeah. in just a second, but I'm just showing you how it fits. Yeah. There's, a, you know, it's the same in the back. Look at these. These are the, the twirls, right? Yeah, I know. So well, the twirls you do so well. Um, <clears throat> yeah, you did a lot of mods. And I'm going to briefly talk about that. Um, 
So I, if the, the sleeves were supposed to start here, the so sleeve it would be opening, yeah. yeah, so it would be like, and I just that felt has... that that would, I didn't want it to start. Kind of swancho like, yeah, but not really on me. So I decided to have them right under the motif, and <clears throat> so how I figured that out is, as you can see, there's three whole motifs here, and then in the back. There's four whole motifs, and on the side, uh, I mean, you. I went under the flower because that was so obvious. The flower was so obvious, mm -hmm. but underneath, I did a half and a half, and it doesn't match perfectly, and who cares? Like, who right. looks at that? Oh, my gosh. It doesn't match at all. Right. Terrible. Put your arm down. Exactly. And then... Said uh, no one ever. Exactly. And then with the sleeve, I, I just... Um, because you had a lot of fabric here, right? Yeah, this was, I had a lot of fabric, so I just decreased down, and then I did a strong decrease. But I don't feel like I have the volley, I don't have the body mass to have the whole design. Like, I'm not tall enough and broad enough. Like, there's not enough. So I just felt like there wasn't room for those. There were these oh, right. arm well, there's a pieces. Motif. So there's a motif on the sleeve. Yeah, and I just didn't. For yeah. me, I didn't feel like no. I had enough room. I, I totally agree. <clears throat> and then as, in terms of the body, I went straight down and then I did a big decrease so that it would kind of puff. Kind of have like a, a bomber, bomber look. Yep. look. And I was really happy with that. And do you want to see it on Caitlin? Sure. Do you want to step we'll over there? They're going to respond to you. Do you want to see it on Caitlin? Nod if yes. Yes. Wait. Somebody's nodding. Okay. They want to see it on you. Just to see it, because uh, I thought it was really flattering on her bust. You know how you can sometimes think, oh, big motif on my, you know. Buxom bosoms? Yeah, but it really looked good. And What's the I, it's front? interesting. That's the front. You got it right. Okay. It's really interesting to see how um, different silhouettes look on different bodies. And so I love that about being together and in person so anyway okay so it's very cute on you this looks adorable on you it's so sorry we can't get like but it's just very sassy and cute like I, right. I think you look kind of like a pinup girl in it that I never see her in like this shape this ever. is terrible but it's it's, it's like I feel like a oh but and like tight little pants and little heels I know I need mm. to mm. Mm -hmm. I mean, she looks really good in it. It looks really good on me. Yeah. So, anyways, I it just looks good this, on this blonde, of course it looks good on brunettes. I'd want it to be. I don't know how I would do the neck, but I oh love gosh, it, it on so you, good. doesn't it? It's, well, I mean, look at these colors. They're I, know. I mean, it is really un amazing, believable. But thank you for letting me put it on. But I'll hold, I'll wear it while I talk about my stash. Mm -hmm. So. How do you even show this? I don't know. So Jackie and Debbie were supposed to um, wind all my yarn. We got a little bit. So model. here's the here's my base color. What is that called? Do you know? Mm, I can't tell? read it. Okay. Shire? No. Okay, keep going. Uh, so that'll be my you know body, body. color, and I I think um, the original this, the other design had a the cardigan. I'm good, and um, I'm gonna still. I'm also gonna do. What do you call this? A pullover. Pullover. God, it's gorgeous. I know. And so here are all. Oh shoot. It's okay. Here. Hold on. Hold on. I'm missing a color. Right. Where's the the pink, pink, pink? I don't know. Well, she's hot pink. Got a well, hot pink. Okay. So, too. but like, look at that. Slow down, cause you know, look at these purpley, so beautiful, heathery. Oh, here's the pink, purple. I mean, look. Th I think this is. If this isn't Madeline, this is absolutely stunning. Do you see how it's like an ultraviolet? It's gorgeous. That might be my favorite color in here. Mm -hmm. Well, I love this green and the, too. This one. Oh yeah, this and. Oh, the tag came off of this one. Oh, terrible! I didn't do that. I know, but how will we know what? I don't know. I'm sure it's wrong. It's only okay. in my bag. And then, I'm not sure. That's more of the same green. More of that same. 
But then just, I mean, look at, yeah. look at these colors. Well, oh, and I just wanted to say too, I, I, I showed it on Instagram, but could you show, it doesn't look Ooh. as nice here. Just not to the... Um, but can you show undergrowth how amazing this color is? The like... Oh, Jackie's color. I mean, did you see the little pops of green in there? I mean, it is so... Mm -hmm. It is so hard to photograph, but it almost has a camouflage. -y. Yeah, I mean, it's I got think... there. That's like a purpley. And then let me show them the sides. Just yeah, you know, I think they can see it on the side. Yeah, you yeah, can see. I feel like this is a spiritual color that represents sort of our depths, our you know, like our I don't know, unconscious, all of the like time to grieve and heal, and then this is like. Woo! So this was so fun, and then I, you know, and then yeah. this was so beautiful, but you need this contemplative, I just love this. It's Undergrowth so is like my favorite, one of my favorite if yarns. You haven't had, my other shawl if you haven't had a chance to knit with La Bienname, of course it is, a, it is an investment, because um, it has to be shipped from France, but there are some local, in the United States, um, shops that sell it. Her yarn is spectacular. Including the Black Mountain. Black Mountain Yarn Shop has oh. La Bienname. I'm sorry, I screamed into the microphone. Um, hi, Donna. It's only going to be like June, and we're going to come see you again. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to take you the sweater off. Okay, minute. so this is undergrowth again. This was the Hohe fading point, but I just think it's such an incredible color it is it's beautiful yeah that's so I there i'll shawl. wear a shawl oh do you want to put that back on oh sure okay um this is fading point and this was the hohe kit and it was with undergrowth too and i felt the same way when i was knitting with it i just of course all i ever want is to be in this part of my life right here mm -hmm. but this is real and I love that we have knitting to see us through oh, I know. these times I too and to acknowledge them and know that there are gifts in the undergrowth as well so that was it, the poetry section oh my gosh but this is just such it's a good beautiful. color um I feel like at some point we should have one episode where we just go through all of our knits because there are probably people tuning in who haven't seen and although we've moved on from this right. or this, right. we should talk about these things again because they, they never get old. No, no, they don't. Um, yeah, what, what did I want to... This is a rectangular rectangular shawl. Mm -hmm. So anyways, it's good. Yeah, and we, I think um, we've been talking about shawl shapes and what works for us and I have... I think I said it last time, I figured out that I really like a long, long crescent. And well, I think you find a rectangle a little bit hard. Is it too much fabric? Yeah, a little bit. But yeah, but, but, it's, and then but it's fabulous in its own right in terms of that. Somebody else asked a shawl styling question that I thought was, I, th I, I feel like I had a, a good thing to share about it. So the mare shawl that Caitlin's currently working on, which is in her bag but I'll show yours yeah and I'm doing the same thing okay and I will show you the styling tech tip for the mayor shawl doing a little dance around the room because <laughs> you're gonna change shoes no to... no 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 but okay so hold up the shawl please please okay you I'm know I'm not the this. assistant here okay fine I have please, equal footing Caitlin, hold up the shawl Okay, and then if you pair it with some fun shoes, do you see how you could wear anything in between there? Mm -hmm. Like you can wear gray denim, you can wear blue denim, you could wear all denim, you could wear camo pants, but it ties. No, you can wear <laughs> it pants. ties it in. So, like, I highly recommend getting some shoes to match your shawls. And these are Charlotte Stone. Hashtag she's not sponsored. I but wish if anybody I would if like anybody to sponsor to a shoe, Charlotte Stone sponsorship. Yeah. They actually had these shoes in the perfect Caitlin color. And they are platforms. Yeah. So they're not hard to wear. I have issues with shoes. And but she didn't heels. get them. But that is a shawl styling tip. 
Those are in a, okay, just so we're clear too, the, the, those are an investment piece. Mm -hmm. But so are your shawls. Right. Yes. Okay. I cannot wait to be done with mine. Look at that. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's I'm good. wearing, I'm pairing it with dark jeans right now. But I don't even know, like, what other styling, like, style. I also, here's another styling. I, I think you need some, you need bright ones and you need neutral oh, ones. Oh, yes. I, I feel you like You need to kind of go back and forth. Well, and that's a really good segue because I feel like our half and half, our half wraps fit that bill, right? Yeah. In um, fact, do you want to grab the mushroom one? Because yeah. you were surprised by that. So the half and half triangle wrap by Pearl Soho in the linen quill. I, I feel like I need to offer an apology now because it was funny because let's see, Stacy from Stress Knits, her whole episode was about half and halves. And she'd done another half and half and she's like, I'm sorry I don't have a lot of knitting because of the half and half. I'm sorry. And so people. I was really like I was thinking, my God. People are going to start to hate us because the half and halves take a long time and their YouTube content isn't as diverse as it once was because they're like, so we'll, oh, we'll, we'll keep there's another half and half, half wrap. wrap. But, but it's both. about, it's actually just a study of color because, the you know, it's really a fun, since we all care about color so much as knitters, it, it is a really good color study for everybody. I mean, look at that. It's so good, and Nicole from the Gentle Knitter just finished one, oh, and I. So sweet. She's so sweet, and I thought her discussion was really interesting too. She's doing now. I want to do a fifth one, kettle black, and and like a, I think it's called denim blue. Mm. But the this has the linen quill itself has a very lofty, soft body to it. It does. Yeah. Um, and, and it's also like the different gauges of all of our right, various Right, because I, mean, we, I need to lay this out compared to mine. So here's mine. I mean, look, I mean, look at how massive it is. Mm -hmm. But this is, not, put yours this is not massive at all. So I don't know what... And you did the regular three and three skeins and three skeins. Yep. It's mm -hmm. so much smaller. But anyways, I just... Boy, you know, we're just going to have one of these segments every time. Because when I put this on and I see it in there, I feel like I might as well have a, like the equivalent of a fur coat. I mean, whatever. I know mm -hmm. that's on PC. But mm -hmm. like the color, you're just bathed in glorious yeah. color. Like it's all right here. But up by your face. So, and so I can't mm. stop. I know. It, and the, the yarn is so fantastic. I mean, we know that people have been knitting it in other yarns and too, which is can. great. Um, if you're a tactile person... Linen quill is, I'm really sensitive to, I like things soft and cozy. We've talked about this a lot. And this does have like a, I wouldn't say toothiness to it, but it has natural quality to it. But it is very soft at the neck. And I, I think that block, I haven't blocked this one either. I haven't blocked any of them. I think linen quill and this shawl is like a good lover. And I'm going to tell you why, Caitlin. Is and my face neutral? It is. Because it's like... Tell Jackie, why why is it like a lover? Because you, A, you can, choose your, <laughs> you can choose your colors, but if you're like me, you're like... <laughs> another and another and another. And okay. I, okay. Yeah, because you're a total hedonist. Is okay. that the right word? <laughs> what is that? But the other point of it it's is... It's the hedonist shawl. But the point is it's very forgiving of your, oh. like, you can make a mistake yeah. and it you doesn't see, matter. Okay, I'm going to show you. Yeah, it just doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. matter. But I have the biggest mistake in here, and this is called laziness. Where is it? So, 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 so it disappears is what our point is. Yeah, and so it would be like. Oh, here's my mistake. So I dropped stitches. Yeah. Okay, and picking up garter is a total pain in the, so you know what. So I was like, ah, it's my wabi-sabi. Do we know this term? So you're entitled to have as much fun as you want with mm. your said lover, and you don't need to be perfect, and you will get a glorious result. And it's not cheating by wearing another one. Exactly. Exactly. So, so that's good. so good. And then, That looks so good on And you. then the other reason why I, I guess I want to say is in lieu of like... An hour of kissing you have sorry okay you could knit garter and it's very comforting in the same in a similar way <laughs> okay, wait can we just go back to an hour of kissing 
I don't know. Like, okay, fine. 10 minutes of kissing? Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm just saying it provides comfort. And okay. And I I do like the different colors and the different flavors, the different moods. <laughs> Okay, we're going to move on now. Sorry, people. I, I can't. There's only so much I can do to control what comes out of her mouth. As, but as, as, as a lover. As I'm wearing this, though, I'm very much like, oh, my God, I need another I know. bright one. I need I another bright one. Because I'm currently knitting honey pink. Yeah. Which is like, you know... It's fine, and don't, don't say fine. Okay. It's, it's my neutral. favorite color. It's actually my favorite wow. color, and it'll be very easy to wear. And I'm pairing it with um, rosewood pink. Oh, where? I think it's in my shelf, but okay, which I'll grab. Go ahead and show them. So your I'm, so pink. I'm. Oh, that's not the combo, is it? No, it's not. But I want to talk about oh, it. Am okay. I allowed to like go off? To yes, off? you can go off. Okay. That's so off good. script. So I'm doing juniper. Is my so I've, Jackie's wearing my half wrap, my finished half wrap. My second one is juniper. I mean, can we just talk about this green for a second? What I love about mm, blowing out a little bit, but that's pretty accurate right there. I think it goes well with my eyes. What do you think? Um, I love the. There's so much variegation and. This. I feel like all my words are not coming out right today, but um, there's a lot of sort of brown and very neutral tones in it. And so I've been trying to think about the second color. So instead of landing on the second color, I just started this. I do think I'm going to pair it with the mushroom. Oh, you are. Okay. I, I think so. That would be amazing. I know. You would wear that I know. So much. I but I was looking. I was hoping I could just pull some three skeins of mushroom from your stash and just but, leave with but it. But I you know, used it. I know you did. But so I just was trying to get the effect. This is um, this is a beautiful color too in terms of neutrals. Wheat flour. Oh, well, because they've been out of mushroom, but wheat flour. But here's my I like thought. Mushroom. I do too. Jun wild is it wild juniper? Juniper mm -hmm. green, which is very earthy. And mushroom is very earthy. So this is my like Tennessee Earth Girl mm -hmm. shawl. What do you think? Good. You're already moving on to other things. I can no, tell I you think it's think good. About. You're like, okay, I've been there. Done that. We're, we're done. I was just going to show my other color. Oh. This is, you know, I, I, again, it's just, oh, this is not color. like. You don't, have to say anything. you don't have to put any negative to it. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful color. It Those is not two. A, yeah. That's kind of nice. Mm. Two, I think the values are the same. And it would look Christmassy. So that would be a no? That's what I think. But anyways. But anyways, this is the other that side. That and mush. This. Wait. But look. Wait. That's what I'm doing. That is beautiful. What? Mm -hmm. I mean, these two together? Yeah, beautiful. Oh, my. Yeah. That. So people, rosewood pink something mushroom. What do you call it? Pale mushroom. Pale mushroom. Mm-hmm. Gosh, we just do this every time. And I, I love, oh, that's I have good. to do this. Yeah, you do. I mean, this yellow, and then just with a mm -hmm. little pink pop. Yeah. I have to make one in and this And that yellow. yellow is what? This is um, dandelion yellow and peony oh, pink. Oh, it's so good. So it's just like. That actually, hold that up for a second. That reminds me. Of we'll just put this here in place of Caitlin. Oh, that reminds me of this. Oh, and she got to wear this this time around. Here, I'm going to put it on right now. Yep. Um, your um, satellite. Satellite shawl. This was also a kit, right? So this mm -hmm. was the original colors by Andrea and Matt. Wait, did you take away the yarn? Oh, sorry. It's right here. Look, it's similar. Oh, yeah. Um, Definitely. So beautiful. I want to give a shout out to um, one of our followers on Instagram, person that I, I messaged back and forth with, Jackie Kayla. Hi, Jackie. Um, she, I, I think I'll have to show this to you, but she did her satellite shawl. I cannot remember the yarn, but her photograph, mm. we remember we posted it on our stories. Um, she posted a photograph of some absolutely stunning daffodils that had this oh. color and this color. I, I, it was like, a, it was her inspiration for this. It was 
spectacular. It made me, I mean, this, I need to admit this. Yeah, it's so good. You have some scraps too, right? Mm. Anyways, moving <laughs> on. 50 wait, sheep. wait. Did you catch that? I know, I do Did that. you catch that? She, that's called, oh, I don't want to talk about that anymore. <laughs> so I'm just going to segue. It's true. This is kind of good for me too. Yeah. I mean, when she visits, the she just, well, look at you, you're adorable. She walks right in and you find her, like she pulls out my ladder. And, and she wasn't goes, even in the room, no. I was in her and closet. And she just pulled out the ladder and she was in the closet. Just And when she leaves, I'm going to have to put all of it away. I was going to help, it's but like, I know that she's you... She's too short. And, well, I mean, I mean for the but she... Thank you. But I also, you know, you have a very specific way that you fold your things. And I think even if I tried to help, you'd be like, Go. just, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Exactly. That was not a, that was not a diss. So Amy Pelko is having a shawl cal and you'll have to go to the meaningful stitch to check out the details. But I'm, hi, she Amy. was, hi, Amy. She was inspired by mm -hmm. 52 weeks of shawls. I got this from um, Firefly. Firefly Fibers, and we just wanted to show you some of the shawls that yeah, we, we liked, were. and please check out the Meaningful Stitch for the details about the shawl cow. Can we just pause for a second? We we were just sitting down on the, the couch this morning and opened this up, and that was that's one of our the things I miss the most, is just, Looking just at stuff chatting together. stuff together, and like, you know, James was on the couch with us as we critiqued which shawls we liked and which mm -hmm. ones we weren't as enamored with, I think he found that highly amusing. But that's like what we do. Like we just love to talk about knitting, and mm -hmm. so we're sharing our thoughts with you on like what we just lost our ever-loving minds on. Yes, number one. Okay, oh. was Venus. So there's mm. Venus, and I'm going to show you the other photos. So it has this shell motif, mm. and it's. Um, Basically, La Bianime Sansa Merino singles with the mohair. And Sansa's in here, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. and Sansa's in our my plum plums. and yeah. my plum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's beautiful. Yeah. Just love the shell motif. Oh. Here's another one. This is super Katie, fun. You want to talk about that? Yeah, I just, I just find this an inspiring design because I think you could do so much just with your sort of scraps and pops. I love the idea of like pop of neon. Like, mm -hmm. look at the text. It's just about the texture, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's just very different. You know what? This would be great. I have that, um, I have the hedgehog yarn that is Oh, the, the Tweety? Tweety. Mm -hmm. And then I was going to do, the, uh, that would be good in mm -hmm. this. And then mm -hmm. the pops. What's the weight of the yarn? Is it DK? Um, the Tweety's DK, no, yeah. but this is, um, looks like it's fingering weight, but oh. you could do it. It looks with, thicker than that. Mm -hmm. yeah. It really does. It's steep. Yeah, it's cool. So then the other one. Oh, I love this one. So this one, while it's very subtle in the color that they chose, I'm, for those of you who follow my Instagram, know how much I am fascinated and obsessed with flower arrangements at the moment. So while I don't think, the shape. oh yeah, you can see the shape. So that shape does not do it for me, but what I thought would be amazing is to make that as just an end of bed mm -hmm. sort of throw where you just have the detail and just yeah. because it has the fringe and it could just be beautifully draped over the end yeah, of the bed. Yeah, that'd be gorgeous. And it's just, it's the details of the stitches. I would and, love that. I That's know. That's so beautiful. And it's just, and it's you know what would be really pretty garter. in is, um, it's Aran weight, so you could do it in mm. Dererum Nature oh, with the stone my. color. Yeah, I mean, even just a pop of color, though. Or a be, little color? Yeah, okay, fine. like a bl like even just what I did for the Cala. Sure, mm. true, beautiful. Okay. Oh, this is fun. I liked this one, too. This yeah, was, this is very cool. I think that's amazing. It's a half circle. And so not quite the easiest thing to wear. I think it would be amazing to do it as a full circle and have to it do a poncho or poncho something. It. Yeah. But I think you could wear it like a cape with the half circle and maybe get one of those jewel closures. Mm -hmm. Really heavy kind of... That would be fun. The photographs certainly don't give you any hint on how to style it because they're basically just... It's like a palette. Stuck it on her shoulder. Um, a lot of the photographs in here, obviously their purpose is to show you the shawl. Um, and... 
but um, this one I wish they would have showed it to us. It a could be more because set. it is sort of hard to wear. Yeah, I mean, because that's the impression. It's but if you could, like, think of that at the end of your bed or draped over the edge of a couch, how incredible would that be? On yeah, the wall? It's such I a mean, fun it's, it's an incredible. Well, <gasps> you could make it into a skirt. Oh, and put elastic in. Yeah, wouldn't that be the most amazing yeah. oh, thing? Amazing. Knit two. Right back. Yeah. Okay. You so anyway, just whip up two because that won't take time at all. No, I know. Okay. So that's yeah. Anyway, fifty-two weeks. Beautiful, beautiful magazine. Despite our critiquing, um, and there's some really there are some really um, it's a variety of projects in there. Like they had a lot of little cowls and so approachable for new knitters, old knitters. Hag knitters like us. Hag knitters. That's our new knitter. hashtag. Do you know I have a new name? I've decided. Yeah, this is so. Never mind. I'm not going to talk about that. It's ridiculous. I'm, and my eye is twitching. I'm okay. so dehydrated. So, are we. I think we're done. I, um, is there anything else? No, I think, I, I think we're done. And guess what we get to do? We get to walk down. I don't hear it in the kitchen, but. We get to walk downstairs and have a beautiful farmer's market breakfast mm -hmm. brought to us by Jamie and Sally. Mm -hmm. We'll do the dishes, right? Something like that. We're going for a walk because you have to drive, so we need to get yes, our exercise long, before a long drive and yeah. everything like that. Anyway, um, so we're so excited to um, be together again and, and again just, and, and again. And grateful for all of you. Yeah. I mean, wait. Um, I know we say this all the time, but the the messages you leave after on the podcast or the you know the comments you leave on our Instagram they they do make us feel like oh there are people out there who really like what we do you know it's nice right? yeah well we all need community and we mm -hmm. so feedback is good as Jackie's oh, learning oh that's right I'm learning I'm learning about that yeah you like feedback yes it's true we well we need to be Every human being needs to be seen. It does so much yeah. more for them, even than the compliments, like yeah. being seen, mm -hmm. being witnessed. I so, see you. So there's Caitlin. You. She's like, she's learned that. Oh, your hands are freezing. Oh, you're nice and warm. So, um, so we see you too. Yeah, and we, we do. can't wait to see more of you. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's what we've got today. Yeah. I feel like I, I have, I'm just going to say, I'm a teacher. I have three weeks of school left. It's and, been a grueling year. And it's been, I, it's, I think, my 11th year where I was yeah. teaching, and I'm leaving that school. So it's. I've been really... Yeah, it's I'm, been tough. Yeah. And that was your big, like cryptic announcement remember last time you were like yeah well, somebody thought somebody's I was like pregnant. are you pregnant like, <laughs> it's like no oh, yeah menopause menopause mm -hmm. you know that still could be a miracle though i know i feel like my grandma had my uncle rick like in her late 40s okay well you you're past that i'm not quite i'm still in my late 40s okay very very late 40s yeah like closing in August 6th, guys. Birthday. Yep. Anyway. what The point is that um, <clears throat> throughout this whole time and all the transitions, like we have gotten messages, really kind messages yeah. from you. Mm -hmm. And I just, we can't say enough how much you've done for us. Yes. So, so you know, like it's been so very grateful. sustaining. And, and like, for instance, today we... We definitely were like, we need to get on yeah. because we want to connect with you. That's right. why we're doing this. Well, beforehand, we're always like, oh, <laughs> you know, straightening up the room and, you know, but whatever. Once we're on here, we're great. Yeah. We're great. Aren't we fabulous? Don't you love us? Oh, my God. I think we needed to press stop like five minutes ago. Okay. Stop. Okay. All right. Ooh. Wait. Bye. Oh. <laughs> okay.